What's going on, Ratbags? How you all doing? And let me just bring up all my usual Twitter spheres. It's the Games Summer Festival today. So that means loads of new releases have been revealed. I haven't really seen anything survivally though that I would say was pretty decent. But yeah, that's a pretty much it. I was hoping I'd see like Tribes of Midgard by now. But yeah, there's a bunch of new stuff, cool stuff. So we might watch a bit of this after I've done the main bulk of the news. Uh, let's get me usual uh, end stuff going on. Right, there we go. That's Twitter done. Now let's get it going in the rest of the chat as well. And we are good to go. But we're covering loads of stuff. Valheim, the roadmap changes. Pixar has got free DLC at last for Xbox and PlayStation owners has gone live today. Arc have got some updates going live on their live service on their server side for a lot of the Genesis 2 stuff that's wrong. And it does look likely that we're going to get some new stuff maybe from 7 Days to Die and console progress. So I'm going to go through all of that stuff as well. And we'll go over a little few other little games like Volcanoids. New update. I really like Volcanoids. I think it's a good idea. I haven't had much time to sink into it, but they've got a new update. And uh, also, what was the other one? Valheim Volcanoids Starbase has got a delay as well. So that's a new delay for that game, which is like a big, massive MMO. But uh, let's say hello to everyone. Lena, hello. Shane, hello. JT, hello. Go on, go on. Hello again. I know this is all so like you see me do premieres lately. Then I'm doing live streams. It's only for these two day guys. Don't worry, you won't have to put up with me too much more. Seize the moment. Hello, mate. Welcome. El Compa Ghost, Seven Days to Die. Yes. Legendary Lothar is this console. I don't know. I'm just watching this. This is just like the summer fest. I've said it on in the background. Oh, my God, it's loud. Um, there's a bunch of games revealed. Like I said, I've not really come across anything I would consider too survivally. I was kind of hoping to see Tribes of Midgard. I see something about maybe, um, I don't know, like Escape from Tarkov, new map. Maybe I could have reported on that. I don't know. But yeah, we might go through some of this stuff in a while. Let's go through the main bulk of the news, though, for us, for like survival fans now. In fact, let's get rid of a few of them. Starbase, been delayed again. This is like the second time that it was meant to come out in May. Then they put it to June. It's now July 29th. And that's quite a big, big delay. That's like six weeks. Um, and that's what they're hopefully going to get right. They've got thousands of fans going out. They've got closed alphas still going out, invites. And so it is pretty much space engineers, but in a open, proper MMO universe where you can go to different planets or different sectors of space, fight against each other. You can build your own spaceships. It's all voxel based, I do believe, with squares and stuff. It's got electricity, all the systems you kind of expect from a game like this. Pretty heavy. Don't expect this to come out on console, Xbox and PlayStation only, as far as I know. It will be start their early access and it's been going a while. It's been going a while. Like I said, they've been showing stuff off for about, I don't know, 18 months or so now. And it's looking likely that, yeah, this will be the final run. But lots of advanced stuff, setting off propulsion units. You've got storage units. So a good little game. I will hopefully try and check it out. I don't know if I've got the mental capacity to play these games because uh, you really need to be in depth in it. It's like it's a pretty tough one with systems and stuff. So maybe I could, someone can just invite me and I'll just fly around and not try to destroy their spaceship. But pretty involved. But it is like an MMO slash slash. It's not really a survival game, but I'm pointing it in there because of the crafting and stuff. But yeah, Starbase coming out some point, uh, hopefully July the 28th, 29th, 29th. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other stuff as well then. Picks up. It's free. Go get it now on Xbox and PlayStation. This DLC first came out on Steam, I don't know, like a year and a half ago, I swear. And it, they went silent. They said it would come to consoles, but they just have taken so long. Like, Pixar's a dead game. Like, Pixar is really a, a dead game. I mean, this is where I'm proven wrong. And there's like 20,000 players playing it, but I don't think so. I don't know, it's got 200 players a day. That's still quite a few, fair amount of players, to be fair. Um, but yeah, you can see it never really took off 
other than for the one month that everyone thought it might be the new arc. I had high hopes for it, but it was just a bit buggy and didn't it just had some problems and issues, particularly on console. Um, so yeah, a bit of a dead game, bit of a dead game. But on Xbox and PlayStation, at least you've got some free DLC. The Skyward DLC pretty much adds tech tier to the game. That's what it does. It adds some aliens that you fight as well, which kind of made me feel like, oh, maybe that's the way they're going to go with the Ark game, because this came out before some of the, the, the Ark stuff. So yeah, go and check it out and see how much of it is reminiscent of Gen 2. Um, but no Switch date yet. They have said it's coming to Switch, but not yet. Still no answer from Snail Games, though, about what the fuck is going on with ARK Switch servers. If you don't know, on Switch, they turned off all the servers two days ago. There are no official servers anymore for Switch, uh, PixArk, uh, for ARK on the Switch. No one will answer me. I've asked the devs directly. I've, I've tweeted at them. I've asked a bunch of stuff, and I can't get a single answer anywhere why they've removed the official servers from Nintendo Switch for ARK. It may be low numbers, but no one's explained it. The ARK devs are pissing me off because they're not addressing it. Um, so yeah, a bit of a bad deed if you play ARK on the Switch. Avoid it like the plague. Um, but there we go. We're coming to the seven days to die news. Chill, chill. Got to build it up, guys. Got to build it up a little bit. Uh, while we're doing the PixArk stuff, ARK has had a client side update. A server side update so there are some stuff that's gone on for servers so if you plan official servers you would have had a bunch of fixes that hopefully improve the missions they've enabled the tech punch on gen 2 again fix the bug where explosive arrows wouldn't be target on turrets bunch of mesh issues that's all been fixed on the uh the server side they're still waiting for the client side so a, a chunky update you'll have to download to fix a bunch of stuff turns out they are basically selling false shit, it turns out. Apparently, console isn't going to be getting all of the missions like PC. There's lots of missions you can take part in Genesis 2, and there's six of them that you're not going to be able to use or do on console, but they're tied to a chip, they're tied to boss fights, they're tied to taming creatures, and on console, you can't just do them. And apparently, they're still crashing all over the place. I've got a big video about this tomorrow. But yeah, I'm not happy with Genesis 2. I'm not happy with art devs at all. Uh, they're doing the usual bullshit of just launching something and not really testing it out properly and not giving a shit how it actually performs on consoles. So that'll be coming tomorrow. A tasty little video. Plus a giveaway tomorrow. Okay, we'll do the seven days to die news. We'll do the seven days to die news. Yeah, I've got to give it a build it up a little bit. Um, let's go with the seven days to die. So actually, you need to go and check out this dude called Kraken. Go and give him a sub. If you like seven days to die content, check him out. He's a small streamer, but he seems to have some solid content, uh, apart from not having any timestamps. I still gave him a like though. Uh, so someone put me onto this and they just left a link on my Discord. Please don't do that. Please explain what you're doing when you leave a link in. But basically there was a Twitch stream. I'm not gonna play it because you need to go and watch his video. But basically he did reveal some information from the live stream that the seven days to die did now it's not necessarily new info if you've been keeping up with me you'll know that i told you guys they were hiring people they were looking for people a few months ago they put an announcement out a job listing saying they're looking for developers to help them with the pull for seven days to die on consoles so i said at the time that is some kind of bullshit because they're trying to sell it again they are going to sell seven days to die and players who have owned the game previously you're going to have to rebuy the game completely. Like, trust me, you're not going to get the free update. You're going to have to rebuy the game completely. Um, and it looks so this news today, what is new is the developers mention it for the first time that they're looking for partners. So it looks like they're looking for another publisher to help them get it off the ground and get it out there. And they are also looking for, they've already got someone from Unity. Now, Unity have a little network of developers, a team, a quite a big team. They actually do go and help certain games try and establish and get things working a bit smoother. I've seen a few times now when other development teams say they've had someone from Unity working with them. So that's what they reckon. They've got someone from Unity working with them doing things, getting stuff ready, hopefully trying to do some sort of work on it. Um, and they're still looking for partners. That was it. So again, they, they're they very careful with their wording. They're working on on the, the, the project, uh, but they didn't call it an update. They didn't call it a free update. They didn't call it a paid update. They didn't call it an upgrade. But trust me, it does look likely that we're going to have to pay again for another game. I don't know. See, I rag on this all the time, but maybe I'm just old and wrong. Maybe you guys will pay anything to play Seven Days to Die on console with all the latest updates that it hasn't had for three years. But in my opinion, 
despite Seven Days to Die, the fun pimps being done dirty originally by Telltale, they've had plenty of time to find other solutions to update the game, and they've not taken them solutions. They've kind of just decided we're going to just charge more money for another version of the game in the future. And I don't like that. I really don't think that's that's cool. Um, but there we go. That's what's happening with what I opinion of it. Um, so, yeah, Seven Days to Die. It's in Alpha 20. They're about to release that by looks of things in the next month or two. It sounds good. Like, I ain't going to lie. If I was a Seven Days to Die fan, as it were, because I like the game, but I haven't played it in years. The PC stuff is great. It does sound great. It's got all these new things. They're, they're talking about adding new buildings that you'll be able to customize and turn around or the way they're doing it where you can, they're prefabs, so you can make even more interesting worlds. Um, loads of good stuff with it over the, over the years, but it's the console side that has really let things down. And so, yeah, I, I will kick off as, as much as I can, as much as a small channel like me can do if they try charging a big amount. If they turn around and tell people, you got to pay five dollars or ten dollars for an upgrade. I think I'll soften. I think I'll go. Okay, that's fair enough. But if they try charging like forty or fifty bucks for Seven Days to Die on a PS5 or an Xbox Series X and S, I will fucking do everything in my power to show them up. I, I really will because I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's cool at all. But you know, I could be considered old and out of touch. Plenty of fucking people are happy to buy a broken shitty games lately look at rust on console absolute shit show the amount of people that bought the most expensive editions of that uh were just crazy like the simping for that was mad arc genesis 2 broken as fuck on consoles again like and just so many problems with it and then i can't answer questions about the switch i've got to get in a new genre is there a genre out there that doesn't like fuck over their customers on a regular basis please let me know because maybe i just need to switch maybe i need to go play board games at least they're fully done you're not going to get a dlc with a board game you're not going to get you know an update for the board game two years later that you've got to pay more money for maybe that's what i need to um switch to something like that um but yeah there we go guys that's that's the current thinking but yeah please don't go and go and show kraken some love you guys know i'm all for supporting smaller streamers i think it's important and youtubers it seems to be hot on the seven days to die stuff as well as no man's sky so go and give kraken a subscribe like the video, say Jade sent you, and uh, yeah, it should be good. It should be, hopefully, we'll get some news. I hope I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll give them the best apology ever. I will dress up as a zombie and apologise if they end up doing like a free upgrade for console fans that already own the game. I will. I'll do something mad like that, I promise you. But everything they've said, the way they haven't committed to anything like that, makes me believe they will charge money for another version of the game, and you won't get any kind of discount for fans. That's, that's just what I think anyway. Um, but yes, there we go. Seven days to die. Now, let's go over the last few bits. Vulcanoids, another new update. I love the look of this game. I just haven't had time to get into it. It is a bit complicated, actually. More complicated than you think. Using your, your drilling ship to plow through the world. They basically made it you can customise and get new drills. You've got new cosmetic themes for the drills. You can change the colour, the shape. Well, not shape. <laughs> the shape. The colours of them. Um, and they've also got decals as well. Looks pretty cool. It's pretty gnarly. And this as well. The drill arm. I just want to play it for this bad boy. That's the only reason I want to play it. They've got a gunner seat. We need to get on this rat bag. So we need to play this together. I'll spend a whole day. or uh, I'll do this as a season very soon. As part of my season content. I'm going to drop onto Vulcanoids. Co-op survival game in early access on Steam. Check it out if you haven't already. And uh, okay. Let's see what else we've got going on. Last few ones. That was Vulcanoids. Uh, was that it? Oh Valheim. Yeah. Maybe I should go over the Valheim stuff. Now, I've already done a video talking about Valheim, um, so I won't necessarily go through it all today, um, what I've already done. Go and check out the full video if you want to see um, more. But, 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 but they basically changed their roadmap. They've decided that the roadmap they were working on was maybe a bit too ambitious, and so they've given us a teaser, a taste of what's to come with content in the future. It looks great. I love the look of it. Um, and they're just saying that, it's going to take a bit longer. They've 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 ripped up the roadmap. They've redone it. They're going to have home, hearth and home first, then the mistlands, which is like this big, scary, big, huge, dark, foresty area with huge trees and massive spider webs and human skulls everywhere. That's going to be the next update after hearth and home. But hearth and home might not end up coming out until August. And the developer, one of them, Robin, commented on my video because uh, I was saying that maybe it'll be in July. That's when quarter three starts. He gave very strong indication 
that it, it it won't be in July. It might end up being around, I reckon, August or September. Find it now. There he is, Robin Air. Just saying we're on vacation in July. So August is probably the best bet when we're going to get this update for Valheim. That's a bunch of new stuff. Got new crafting tables. It is disappointing, but I can understand and I've explained in my video why, what's gone on um, and some new stuff. So that's good to know. It's, I think that's, that's brilliant stuff to know. Um, uh, well, I just went over it, Captain. You just missed it. Rewind the stream about five seconds and you'll see what I talked about in the survival stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Valheim stuff. That's pretty much it for the Volcanoid stuff. And I was just hoping there might be something we could uh, take a look at. Now, I'm trying to scroll through. YouTube is awful for scrubbing and seeing if there's actually any decent content. Um, I saw something about uh, uh, a Stranger Things and Smite crossover, and I was like, ooh, Overwatch? No, no, not interested in that. Not interested in that one. Come on, give me something good. I want, I want a survival game. They've talked about, um, yeah, like I said, Blood, the Wild Hunt is their battle royale. So it looks like it's going to be like set in a city. Um, and considering they've just literally delayed their main entry in that game, uh, or I had to get a whole completely new team for it. It doesn't bode well, but this is their, their Battle Royale version, or it's like their multiplayer version of their game, where you can use supernatural powers to take out your enemy team. It could be good, but given their history, or, or the way they're treating this franchise and can't get the games out, um, I wouldn't hold too much hope for Bloodlines Masquerade. Um, but yeah, yeah, it looks all right. It's, it's all like pre-rendered and shit. I don't know how much I really want to focus on something like that um but yeah that is pretty much it guys i'll just double double check like i covered everything i want to do i always list in my discord if you're lucky enough to see it, it means i like you or you're a member you'll get to see the stuff that i'm working on for the day yeah there was one little teaser one little teaser that i want to talk about maybe and that was from 11 bit studios the guys that are behind frostpunk studios uh frostpunk the survival simulation game obviously they've done a weird reveal and said that August the 12th, we're going to get a new game reveal. Uh, so it could be good. It's to do with blood, oil, and snow, which is a bit of a weird... It's a really shitty teaser. It's just like this. Bit of snow, hammering the blood, you know. Could it be a survival game? Frostpunk was a survival game. I'll bet it was like a, you know, a simulation survival game. But this could be something along them lines. Um, I think the Tarkov is a new map. I'm pretty sure it's a new map. They've been working on it a while, but it looks like it's much more city. So that looked like it was like someone getting killed over like a zombie. Like, I don't know. Could read too much into it. Are they breaking away from simulation games and making like a third person adventure game, an action game? Frostpunk's a great game. Like easily one of the better survival games out there. And simulation games is a great game. Um, so yeah, who knows? Maybe that would be the case. Um, but I guess we won't find out until August the 12th. And I guess it'll be tomorrow I talk about Tribes of Midgard. No, I'm not doing the survival show tomorrow. That's it. This is the last one for this week. Every night, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. UK time. That's when I'm going to be doing the survival show. Tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, you're going to get some special videos. I might do a preview or it'll just be lots of guides for the games that I've been covering the last few days. Like Green Hell on console, Open Country on console. Go and check them out. And I'm going to dive into a bit of Rust and I'm going to play a bit of Hood on Sunday with the rat bags. So that is it guys. Have a great weekend. Nice, sweet and short this one again. And I shall catch you lot later. Bye bye. Actually no, no wait, I won't say goodbye. I won't. I didn't ask any of you lot how you were. What's going on? Is there anything I've missed? Do you think I should be checking out something? Let me know. Everyone's just clicked off immediately. Everyone's went there. Yeah, see you later Jay. Bye mate. Bye. I've done that last night and I realised I didn't really talk to you a lot. I didn't really say, like, what's happening, what you're feeling about the game, some festival and shit. Anyone buying Ratchet and Clank? I ain't got my PS5 anymore. I, I, I gave it to my son. I need to get one. Oh, look, it's Far Cry 6, dude. Yeah, we could sit here and just, just watch and chat shit while we uh, see Gino, Gino Carlo Espoto, uh, the bad guy from Thingy. Why not use Twitch? What, for this? Because Twitch is oversaturated. I'm not a streamer. I'm not streaming for like four or five hours a day. This is to replace my survival show, which YouTube hates when I do like a video format, but it doesn't seem to hate when I do live. <clears throat>
Sim Pro, welcome. You're going to play Ark? Not today, I'm not. I probably won't play it again either. Not tomorrow. I've got a video talking about it tomorrow. The video title, everything wrong with Ark Genesis 2. Um, pretty much. So that's going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, I kind of want to hear what Giancarlo's saying. Yeah, he's a badass. I quite like him. Breaking Bad, he's a great bad guy. So, I, you know what? I'm almost to the point where I'm considering buying Far Cry 6 when it comes out. It comes out in, like, September, right? I'm, if there's not much going on, if I haven't covered like, any other big games or big updates around them, then I might actually do it. Can I just say, who are the dickheads that are giving money to the Game Awards? I can't believe they've even got this enabled. The Game Awards are scummy as fuck. They earn so much money from game developers and shit and from advertising. And they're taking chats from, from things. You can turn chats off. You don't have to have them on. But I've seen some stupid donations come through. And it's like, really? You really? You're donating to the game of fucking wards? Fuck me. Find someone else to give your money to. Yeah, six missing missions and apparently the rest. It's not so much that they're missing. I don't mind the Arc 2 shit not being there because of limitations, hardware. The fact they didn't bother telling anyone officially until a week after the DLC launched. Who fucking does that? It would have took them two minutes before Arc came out and said, it's our most ambitious DLC yet. We've got so much involved with this new map. We can't wait to deliver it to you. Unfortunately, there are a few issues with performance because we've striven to give you the best experience ever, a new experience. We've had to take the steps to take out a few things that were causing too much memory spikes or RAM spikes, and they just wouldn't work very well on console. So we don't want the game crashing a lot. So we are going to remove six missions, but we'll hopefully put them back on to the official servers in the future. There we go. There we go. Hey. Eh? Look at that, I should be the spokesman. I should be the spokesman for Art Survival Evolved. That's what I should be. Um, no, no, they're not They're not doing deals. They're refunds, no. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, if you got it on disc, you could just go and sell that shit. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if... I, I can't really say people can claim for a refund because it was supported... Unless you bought it literally the day before they decided not to do any updates. But if you bought it on the day it released or within the six months it released... We did get updates, albeit slowly, for the first, like, year. And then it went to shit. Then it went to proper shit. Um, so I don't know about refunds, but certainly I want a discount. I, I want it for free, or I only want to pay five or ten bucks for any sort of next-gen version of it. I think that's acceptable. The developers get a bit of money. We get a bit of peace of mind that our, our pain of being on console for that long and not getting anything. $50. Who's fucking promoting $50? Who is this guy? James Ski. I'm 13, what is this? Oh my god, these kids got too much money. Too much fucking money. No, nothing else, Elliot. It's just going over the Valheim stuff. I'll oh, just I I you know what? I'm gonna end up falling out with Firespark. I love him sometimes. We're we're buds. Like, you know, we disagree on quite a lot, but I agree with him on other stuff. And we chat now and then about YouTube struggles and, and other games and ah shit they are. But I'm getting really annoyed with his hate bait over Valheim. It's like, he's got to give it a fucking rest. He's going on like Valheim's the worst game ever. Like, or they're doing people dirty for a £15 game. That's give people hundreds of hours of content. Like, chill, man. Go go and take a... Didn't, didn't, didn't cry that hard about Cyberpunk when he was getting hundreds of thousands of views. Now, I'm talking smack, but I have literally put that comment on his video. So I'm not going behind his back or anything. I said exactly that same shit on one of his videos where he's criticising Valheim recently. So, you know, I'm not a snake. I'll tell people to their faces they're being cocks. Um, so I hope he takes note and he, he calms down a little bit. Um, but, yeah. It's James Ski. Yeah, is it really you, James Ski? Sure, bud. Sure. Sure. You can donate me $50 then. You go for it, Jason. He stole mummy's credit card. I know, it's mad, isn't it? And this guy is just talking about Elden Ring. Everyone's desperate for Elden Ring because they did say that uh, Bandai Namco would be there. I don't remember if they said the Elden Ring people would be there, though. 
Like Bandai Namco is the publisher, but they've got loads of games they'll be promoting. That's a few games might be all right. There was some four-person Xbox shooter that looked okay. Um, it was like first person, set on a spaceship, and you're as a team, and you're fighting little aliens, and it looks like comical because you could do all sorts of um, abilities. It does look like there's a lot more reveals tomorrow. It looks like there's going to be a lot of big stuff. It's usually the Friday and the Saturday. Yeah, this one here. This one looks alright. Looks a bit, bit fresh. Come to Xbox, apparently, this one. Um, if, if it's going to... Are you going to get onto it? Man, YouTube needs a better scrubber to go through. Yeah, here it is. So you're shooting all these weird aliens and you can do all sorts of powers. It reminds me of like Deathloop and Dishonored a little bit. Uh, it's set in the 60s or 70s or psychedelic 60s, 70s with space. Uh, just running around, shooting aliens, solving little mini puzzles, using, you know, teleportation and gravity fields and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, what's the name of it again? The Anacrusis. What a terrible name. Four player action though. So yeah, I could be down for that. That could be something interesting. That could be something interesting. You missed it, Curzo. If you missed it, it's too late, mate. Don't turn up late to my stream demanding fucking shit. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. No, I'm joking. Uh, they are just talking publicly, not just in the job advertisement, which I showed people ages ago, that they are getting someone on board to try and help them with Seven Days to Die, the next version on console. So nothing about an update, nothing about free. Does look like we're going to have to pay more money for it and stuff. Um, but that's what they talked about. So, yeah. There's a YouTuber I showed off. Rescrub re it. Go and check him out. I will leave the link about five minutes after this goes. I will then put timestamps in. So if you ever miss any one of my live shows, I'll always go and put the timestamps in within a reasonable amount of time once the stream has ended. Sebastian, I don't know what you think 150k subs means, bro. Like, how many... YouTubers are in the millions, but they don't get like 5 million views for every video. I mean, how many views do you get, Sebastian? I'm guessing not many, bro. I'm guessing not many. I'm doing all right, mate. Don't you worry about me. You can hit me up with a like, though, if you want to help support small streamers. Mod Sci-Fi. That's the one, command Commando. That is the one. E3 when it happens? No. Uh, unless it's survival based, I'm not doing anything for E3 this year. I think I've done that in a few years past. And again, it's all just about YouTube hating that shit. YouTube hates it if you, you show too much of that. Like maybe if I hear there's a big reveal for a survival game, I'll I'll sit there waiting and watching like we've done in the past for like Ark or, or something else. But unless there is something specifically survival, I'm not going to be sitting here live streaming or, or trying to catch some sort of announcement or, or something like that. Sonic Unleashed. What is this? Another remaster. Was it that great a game? What's going on it? Are they just playing the song? Is this it? It's just little interludes every now and then. I guess that's what it is. It's just little interludes showing off some music for Donkey's Years Old Games. That It's got to be a remaster coming to current gen, isn't it? I mean, how many Sonic games are there? My little boy loves Sonic Heroes. And I think that was like a... Uh, X, PlayStation 4 game maybe it was PlayStation 3 I don't even know why I've got it on PlayStation 4 but um, he loves playing that he's got well into that lately uh, you can be all different characters and stuff you, speak, you probably haven't got notifications today because I've done like three videos already YouTube doesn't notify you that's why you got to turn on Discord or follow me on Twitter that's what you got to do give me a follow on Twitter that's where you need to be um I'm just scanning Twitter to see if there's anything going on. Any other sudden reveals? Not much at all. Chicory? What the hell is Chicory when it's at home? Uh, some weird, colourful game. Fallout 76, play June. Nah, there's nothing going on here. T yeah, Wonderlands, Borderlands have got a, a brand new game coming out. Or it's a new DLC. Um, and it's like a role-playing survival, uh, not survival, role-playing magic game. So you'll be able to do magic powers as Tiny Tina from uh, from Borderlands. That's probably the only maybe vaguely interesting thing I saw earlier as well. If they show Fable. Well, if they show Fable, I'll cover it. Yeah, maybe that's it. Like It'd have to be something I've covered in the past that I'm excited for. So yeah, something like Fable. Um, I don't know, really. Like Any other big games that aren't survival? 
no like state of decay free i would like to see something on that we probably won't know i don't think it's the time i don't think that's coming out until next year um who knows i could be wrong on that back for blood a lot of people getting excited about that that's in october now i think i swear that was meant to come out earlier than that stadia is well going down you do love me i know you i love you too spig i know i love you too um but yeah that is pretty much it i've got to work on now i'm going to spend a couple of hours so i'm going to go to bed i've been getting up at like seven half six in the morning and just working solidly all the way through till like six in the evening I have me dinner and then i come do this live show that's why some of them have been a bit short lately because I'm just knackered. And I've been going to bed bang on like 10 o'clock. I can't stay up too late because I don't have a nap anymore. Normally I try and nap in the daytime. Um, but in the morning, I'm probably going to work on some more green hell guides and try and work on some more of my um, open country gameplay. I'll try and do a bit more of that as well. See how it goes. No worries. Don't forget to like. Give me some likes. I need the likes, people. I need the likes. I love how that dickhead Sebastian didn't come back. Just, oh, my bro, you ain't got enough views. I'm just going to ban him because he's a dick. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Jurassic World sequel. I've yet to play the first one. It's a city builder, isn't it? But yeah, it could be good. The first one was pretty decent, I guess. I know it got like, pretty good reviews. Most people said it was just a bit simplistic. So maybe number two, it looks like they're adding water creatures to it. I mean, there are lots of things I'm interested in. I'm interested in lots of little indie games, like Sable got a bit of a show in, and I'm looking forward to that one. Um, some mad singer singing in front of it and stuff. So that's something I'll probably cover. I will cover when it comes out, um, when, when we get a release date for it. Um, but it's an exploration sort of puzzle game. Um, but yeah, there's loads of small little games, but nothing that really can sit on my channel. This one I remember, I was going to debate about actually backing this, or I've seen it on some sort of key site. Um, and it looks pretty cool, little fox one, just running around, doing little puzzles and stuff, um, as you're solving stuff. You know, little, I like games like that sometimes, just starting to mix it up a little bit from all the killing and the harvesting of other big games. Open Country's alright, it's very arcadey, very simple, I think you'll like it, Spig. I think you will like it, mate, it's, it's kind of your level. Kind of your level, Spig. <laughs> it's kind of your level, bud. But yeah, I like this one. It's a little cute one. My daughter today was very excited about Sims. They've got like an English countryside DLC coming out where you can have a llama as a pet and milky cows and do farming and have all sort of new country cottage build pieces and shizzle. So, yeah, you know, we're getting into that a little bit as well. I mean, after this, after this little sudden splurge we've had of Green Hell and um, Open Country, apart from now it's been delayed, Starbase, there really isn't that much going on this June. I can't think there was something at the end of June. I'll have to go and watch my uh, video on releases and see see what's coming. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! I want this one. Tribes of Midgard. So Ten player co-op, Viking semi survival base defense game. I'm hoping we'll get a release date. Yeah, we'll watch this and then we'll go. <coughs> We've got to get this, guys. Rat bags, 10 of us running around. There's no servers. I think it's all just local co-op. I could be wrong, unless they've expanded it. You fight massive giants and you've got to keep your tree of life safe. I always like move like this, standing up. I'm like, let's have a party and do some dad dancing. Oh, oh. This could be the next Valheim. It doesn't have the base building though, but you can upgrade your settlement and stuff. So it looks like just a bunch of fun. It has been worked on a long time as well. I think this actually was what like I first played the demo of this about a year ago, so it did technically come out before Valheim. But they, they got more money from Gearbox to flesh it out a little bit. Let's show them our, might is than their height. <laughs> our might is greater than their height. I like that line. 
It looks cool. Got loads of stuff going on. Oh, you have to rewind, old old scum gun. Rewind the stream, mate. Release date. Release date. Hey, July twenty seventh. Kind of all right. I think I've got my kids that week. God damn it. But yes, release date flat. I might do. I'm gonna definitely. I might do a little mini video about that one. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I like look at that one a lot. I'll definitely go down for tribes of Midgard. Um, yeah, it does. Ten players as well. Yeah, the standing ups actually just help my back. Like I get really backache. Like I said, I've been working since like six. By the time I got breakfast and had a cup of tea, maybe like seven thirty this morning. So seven thirty till six. Then I had dinner at six. Then I had about an hour and a half off having dinner, watching telly with the missus. Then I came back on just for um, to get ready for the stream. So yeah, I need to do stuff more, move around. I'm getting big, but gut as well is like proper moving around. Gives you a bit more energy as well. I find that for like a live stream like this, gives me a little bit more pish bosh bosh bash. There we go. Megan says it. Yeah, they've got they've got Unity people helping them, and they're still looking for a partner. So it sounds like they're still trying to find a publisher to help them with Seven Days to Die, even though they said I'm pretty sure they were going to self-publish it. I mean, why couldn't they get a publisher months ago to help them take over the current game? Why do they have to make a new one? It, all in all, it's bad deeds. There's something just stinks about what they've done with that game. Um, so I'm going to keep up with that. Um, but there we go. Uh, Evil Dead. Could it be a survival game? I mean, it's a creepy third-person action game. Not kind of game of thought, actually. I'd seen this, but I thought it was going to be... Um... Oh, it's a Dead by Daylight knockoff, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's a Dead by Daylight sort of game. It makes sense. I've never watched the movies. I'd be too scared. I'd be bricking myself, mate. I can't stand stuff like this. Yes, of course I have my poker trophy. Of course I do. I've got my, my Wyvern picture up there. My Gears of War books. Once the shelf is over there, it will be much better. I'll zoom the camera out a little bit more so you can see more stuff. You met a good friend on Seven Days Die, did you, Megan? But yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm not really down for these games. They're fun enough, but I just find them monotonous, running around a map trying to kill people. Give me Call of Duty any day over, over something like this. As bad as that sounds with Call of Duty. But I know they're like Dead by Daylight is stupidly popular. It gets played by like hundreds of thousands. And the other one, what was the knockoff? There's two of them. It's Dead by Daylight. Friday the 13th. Well, they've shut the servers down for that. I'm pretty sure they shut that one down. Yeah, you like it. Stadia Arc was meant to come out on the Stadia recently, but they ended up delaying it. It's not coming out until July now. I do believe they made an announcement a few weeks ago. They can make an announcement about fucking Stadia, but they can't make any announcement about Switch servers. The last one. We'll see it for the last one. No, it's a new game. A dead by, that's a new uh, Evil Dead game. As a new way to bring all of us together for a cross-industry showcase and kick off the summer in the right way. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy this truly spectacular world premiere. It is finally time. Elden Ring? Jimmy's going to be happy. Oh, it's Elden Ring. Is this our horse that's going to take us through lands? Yeah. All right, fair do. Jimmy's going to go mad in Discord now. 20 fucking links to videos about when Elden Ring's coming out. Yada, yada, yada. George Martin, the Game of Thrones writer, has helped write this. I could probably change it over. There you go. You can hear the sound now. The 
golden order is broken to its core. It's meant to be open world. Of the Elden Ring. More big ass bosses. By the flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. They will fight. Elden Ring. And they will die. What? Oh, I lost me. It lost me when I had the flying horse. Oh, yeah, same Dark Souls mechanics, bringing your friends in, I guess. We'll get the sequel to Elden Ring before we get the conclusion of Game of Thrones the books. Is that the PvP section there? Which we had just bosses. A lot of the bosses look really similar to Dark Souls bosses already though. Has it got a release date? That's what we've got to know. No, no release date. January 21. Interesting release date. Coming out to all platforms and PC as well. Fair play. Fair play. That is it, guys. I'm off. I will see you, like I said, Monday for the live show. We will be streaming. I might stream tomorrow. I might stream Saturday. But it'll be just messing around with Rust or Green Hell. Come